What's up everyone? So I'm doing a brief tutorial on the HTC Evo 4G from Sprint and uh, I rooted my phone yesterday and uh, just wanted to do a tutorial, not a tutorial, but a, a video on what it would look like after you root your HTC Evo and some of the things that you will get as a result of it and I'm just going to run through it really fast. Um, sorry for the bad camera. I'm actually using an iPod camera, which sucks, but um, it's the only one I have right now, so I'll try and make a better video later, maybe. Okay, so first of all, the home screen is pretty much the same as you saw the put the uh, lock screen was the same. Um, everything else is pretty much going to be the same as well, um, with a few exceptions. First of all, as you notice, once I open the lock screen, that the f the camera widget actually animates now so yeah, as you saw the uh, it actually flips in, in um, on the original stock sense UI from Sprint uh, from or from HTC Evo it did not animate it just changed the number which I thought kind of sucked and I thought it was like ridiculous that they wouldn't put it on there and uh, but they didn't so that's one thing that's an added benefit of rooting your HTC Evo Another one is, is as you can see, the battery icon, or you probably can't see because, again, this camera sucks, but uh, the battery icon is actually a number that tells you how full your battery is, how charged your battery is, which is another cool feature that, that, that was added once you root your phone. And uh, I thought that was a subtle, cool thing to change. The other thing is that the pull-down menu actually has... The toggle widgets inside of it kind of uh, borders the top of the notification pull down menu which is another cool feature because you don't have to waste space on your home screen adding these toggle features and it's already there all you have to do is pull down your your, your window and you don't have to shift uh, sift between uh, screens in order to get to it just pull down your top and it's done and it's airplane mode 4g mode uh, GPS, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and flashlight icon, all which I pretty much use a lot, so it's good that that's there. The other thing that is added is the Super User uh, app, which is once you root your phone, you're always going to have that Super User application, and it just as you gives you more settings that you are allowed to do, which is a lot of reason why people root their phone because you have the option of kind of hacking it, quote unquote. Um, the other thing that they give you is the Wi-Fi hotspot, and that's different from the Sprint hotspot. Um, Sprint hotspot you still have to pay for, and with the Wi-Fi hotspot you do not have to pay for it, and it works pretty much the same. You just tap the app, and it'll come to this screen, and you tap the. Uh, the middle of the screen and, it, and you pretty much you pretty much are tethering from that point I tried it out yesterday with the iPod touch and it works perfectly it also works with 4G if you are in the area of 4G so no worries on that pretty cool and another thing that they added was oh that's one thing I can show the option of in you have the swipe keyboard option I'm not sure if you had it on the original uh, but the swipe keyboard is available I downloaded the gingerbread keyboard because I like it a lot better it's um it's more customizable and it's a little bit cooler but the HTC it's it mod uh, is there too that's part of the part of the um, once you root your phone that option is available to you too I didn't like I like the the mod it was cool but I think I like the gingerbread a little bit better so that's my stuff that's pretty much what I'm using now as far as keyboard is concerned it looks like this and again these are customizable and I notice you type you can type a little bit faster than the than the stock um, than the stock one and I guess I might as, might as well show you the uh, show you the mod so the mod looks like this pretty much the same 
but I guess they modified it in some way. I think they have smileys now that you can add, which is cool. I guess cool. I don't know. I'm just I'm more into the uh, the gingerbread. It's it's more I don't know cooler. So we'll go back to that. All right, and that's that's pretty much it. I don't. It's not really much else I can show you that a benefit of rooting your phone. The main thing was the Wi-Fi hotspot, the fact that you have the super user um, availability where you can change some of the user settings, and that you can flash ROMs. I flashed a couple ROMs yesterday that I did not like. There were some things about it that I just didn't like um, that were added into the stock. And for and the stock had some things about it that I didn't like, and that's the reason why I rooted it. But I think that this is a good even kill right here. The uh, just the standard once you root your phone, that's just the standard from there. The stock from the root is a pretty, pretty nice uh, ROM to use. I don't even know what that's called a ROM, but to use if you don't want to flash anything, if you want to just have more options and just kind of sit and wait to see what Sprint's going to do. This will buy you some time for sure. It's a little bit faster and it's like I said those cool features the fact that you can tether I mean that would give me some time because I'm actually I can tether with my iPod and a lot of the programs or the apps there that I like using you know I can pretty much use online uh, through tethering so I don't know this may help you hopefully it does uh, if anyone knows any good ROMs, just go ahead and comment below and I'll, I'll test it out and record. And I'm going to try to get a better camera next time. Thanks guys. Talk to you later. Bye.